introduce the next artist. I'm excited about this one. Please welcome to the Back Hard Barbecue, Joyride. Give me some, give me some. Welcome. What up, what up? How's it going, guys? Pretty good, how are you? It's the last time I borrowed you my car, man, you painted it pink. You didn't tell me that was gonna happen. You know, I was wondering if we could go on a little joyride after this, maybe. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Although I do know one thing, that the horn's been disabled, so we're just going to have to breeze past everyone. That's the only thing I know about this car. <laughs> well, it actually bumps, though, pretty loud. So if you want to rock some your new tracks, you know. I think you, this you bump's can, a bit harder. We're, we're, yeah, but I'm saying after a little after party, roof down, PCH, me and you. I don't think I've ever turned Maggie, down an after party from you. I'm, I'm there. Sign me up. I mean, rolling in the pink caddy with Joyride. Nothing better than that. No. What's up? How you been? You know, I've been great. It's been obviously life changing for everyone, this whole thing. I mean, who'd have thought last time I stood here talking to you that it would be, you know, six months later, whatever it is now, that we still be in this situation. I mean, it's, it's remarkable, it's historic. Yeah. But I mean, me personally, I'm fortunate enough to funnel my, my energies and my creativity in like different directions. A lot into studio design, been building things and really went into it, been into it while I was touring, but now I just went all the way in and it's been really, really refreshing, really fulfilling. Well, you have been killing it. I mean, the buzz on the music since we last had you on a Ravathon has been yeah. amazing. That's right, because since then the album, my album Brave came out and that was something that was worked on for two years. And then, you know, that, that's been the, the strangest thing because that was so that was such a part of me you know and normally what what would follow something like that is traveling to people's cities to people's towns and sharing it with them you know and that's just like gone from the situation right now so it's it's a little bit of a strange um it's kind of a strange reaction that i've been having to it because obviously i see all these hundreds of thousands millions of people have been listening to it but I haven't been able to celebrate it with them, you know? But so virtually you have been. Yeah, virtually. Right? And, and I can imagine, listen, I, you know, the process of being in the studio, imagining people rocking out to your music, taking it in, and then going out there to be able to connect with them in person, and that not happening, because you've been doing music your whole life, really, right? So for you to go through that process and then not... Well, like I said, it's, through that, it's different. I, it's, not, feel, I, it's not. I, I never thought about it. It's not a bad thing. It's just different. You different, know, like yeah. in a, anyone in this field, yeah. what, what they're given, they create from. You know, they're, they're, whatever they're given, that's how they react to that. And it's just different that you don't get to go on tour with the music. You don't get to be with the people and see them see it flourish and explode firsthand. You watch it online. Yeah. It's incredible. You know, yeah, it yeah. actually has more reach online. But it's definitely been. I just cannot imagine the energy is going to be when I finally get back to a stage to play these records. You know? I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm, I'm planning I'm planning for uh, all the festivals for next year on a daily. We, we both are over here and it's like man, I just I'm more excited than ever though at the same time because we've been deprived of having those kind of experiences in recent months. You, you know, our, my whole life, your whole life our whole life. Yeah. Uh, we've been out there living this and sure it's different. I'm finding new things to enjoy. I know you are too. We've talked offline and uh, I'm excited to be here right now with you in this backyard about to get down here. Some, do you have, you have a, more mu new music for us to, tonight? I, was got, I got a bunch of IDs that I've been making. Cannot but drop some. Well, I'm going to play. Uh, you know what? I'll be, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. What I wanted to do today, because it's summer. It's summer and, it, <laughs> you know, a big part of summer is socializing. A massive part of summer is being with your loved ones, being yeah. with your best friends. And for me, one, some of my best memories in the world are in the summer when I grew up in England. And we had that whole, you know, bass music, garage music, jungle music, that whole field. That, that was all just like a group thing together in a field, in a, in, a, in a carnival. And that is summer for me. That's my best memories of summer. So, like, the music today, I wanted to play stuff that reminded me of those times, of those summers. And I, for me, these are summer anthems. They're, they're un, underground, they're unreleased, they're not that popular, but they're, for me, they're, it's the type of stuff that makes a summer anthem. So I, I don't know that you're gonna appreciate it. So that, especially in this setting, I feel that that's the way to go with this set. Perfect, well, let's get right into it. 
some summer vibes here at the Hard Summer Barbecue. We're here with Joyride. Let's get right into it. Find the victim and wine your ass. Married, I'm not seeing 
I'm gonna get this whole 